Hey, how are you? I'm Dr. Dahmer with Vanderbilt Hospital. We're proud to offer industry-leading medical mutilation services for your children. Yay! Nowhere else will you find a facility better equipped and more willing to do the unthinkable on your children who think what they see in the media is their path to happiness. Is your child feeling insecure? Unhappy? Uncomfortable? Well, those are very abnormal feelings for any child. And it can only mean one thing. Time for you to open your checkbook so we can start cutting away. Happiness is found on the inside. And you're never going to find it unless you do some cutting. Your child will thank you now. And who knows if they will later or not. Sound too good to be true? Well, just take a recent look at our Vanderbilt Hospital administrators pledging to do what's right for our bottom line at the expense of your child. These surgeries make a lot of money. Uh, so female to male chest reconstruction can bring in $40,000. Uh, a patient just on routine hormone treatment who I'm only seeing a few times a year can bring in several thousand dollars because that requires a lot of visits and labs. It actually makes money for the hospital. And female to male bottom surgeries, these are huge money makers. <coughs> Again, I think this has to be an underestimate if they're quoting around $20,000 for a phalloplasty. There's been different things that I've read that said it could be up to $100,000. Um, Dr. Winokur, who's our surgeon, said that there's entire clinics where the entire clinic is supported just by their phalloplasties. And that is like a fraction of the surgeries that they're doing. These surgeries are labor intensive. They require a lot of follow-ups. They require a lot of OR time. And they make money. They make money for the hospital. If your child has a fully formed mind evidenced by having believed in Santa Claus for many years and has no solid sense of self, then they are an excellent candidate to be a good source of revenue for us. All we need from you as the parent is a little consent that society is currently doing its best to coerce out of you. Studies show that kids never change their mind, so affirming the sage-like wisdom of a 13-year-old with irreversible puberty blockers, chemical castration, and knives with gender-affirming blades is really the only real solution in our business plan. But you might be worried. Are there any dangers? Well, we can assure you there are absolutely no risks that matter to us. A study out of Sweden showed that suicide rates after transition surgery rose by 20 times in the next 10 to 15 years. And this could be your child if you allow it. But even if that happens by that time, you'll have already bolstered our revenue streams that we take an oath to do no harm to. So there's really nothing to worry about here. But does your child currently have suicidal thoughts? If so, it would be a mistake to get them help to address their mental health. Instead, we feel that addressing their physical body through irreversible changes is the only sensible thing to do here. After our safe and very hygienic disposal of your child's clippings, we think you'll be a very satisfied customer. But do you ever worry about a doctor's conscience to do no harm to their patients interfering with your child's treatment? Well, at Vanderbilt, you don't have to worry about the pesky conscience of doctors. Just take a look at this video of our hospital administrators addressing those extremist doctors. If you are going to assert conscientious objection, you have to th realize that that is problematic. You are doing something to another person and you are not paying for the, the cost for your belief. But I just want you to take home that saying that you're not going to do something because of your conscientious, because of your religious beliefs is not without consequences and, and it should not be without consequences. And I just want to put that out there. We are given enormous, if you don't want to do this kind of work, don't work at Vanderbilt. So you can sleep well at night knowing you can trust our doctors that we threaten to do to your child what's most profitable to us. Now I think we can all look back and laugh at those silly times when doctors thought using leeches was an effective treatment. Ha! Those barbarians? Because now we live in an era where we know doctors using knives to remove your child's breasts and genitals is a far more effective, sophisticated treatment. At Vanderbilt, our doctors are trained to ignore the quackery of biology and instead use the hard science of ideology. And instead of abiding by the Hippocratic Oath, they abide by the Oath of Activism. And here's our pledge to you. 
as we continue progressing as a society, we at Vanderbilt will continue to consider other ways that we can better serve kids in our community by improving our profits. Like how about anorexia affirming liposuction treatments? And maybe we could cut costs by doing away with our unnecessary expensive sanitizing surgical equipment policy. Perhaps implement healthy limb amputation affirming surgeries. And call me a dreamer, but I also envision healthier profit outcomes by way of us selling our patients organs on the black market. The point is, when you come to our facility, you get to be a part of the cutting edge that hacks into the healthy flesh of miners so we can profit like no one has before. And isn't that something you'd like to be a part of? Vanderbilt. Check us out and book your appointment today. All major credit cards are accepted. Buy more. Buy more now. Buy. And be happy.